How's it going guys? Welcome back to Diablo 1, the Beelzebub mod. There was that set of books that was written in Latin that I found. I didn't know what that was all about. I read them, moved on, didn't know what the hell it was all about. Someone in the comments chimed in, let me know that that actually is how you activate a quest that's unique to this mod. Apparently a relatively long, very difficult quest, so it might take me an episode or two to actually get through it. Uh, once I once I refined it, but the problem was that I just read the books in the wrong order, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Warmaster Beeble the Howler. It's a very long name you have there. Hey, we've spent all that time fighting uh, highlighter yellow zombies. Now we get to finally fight highlighter yellow hiddens. Toad demon. Wow, bunch of weird things that I didn't fight on my last last spawning of of level eight here. But you really think that this highlighter yellow, were they just trying to achieve some high level of contrast? They thought it would be really funny if they went from invisible to the most easiest thing in the world to spot? Oh, convenient time to level up. I was just about to get my ass handed to me. I think these elixirs used to be permanent, but now they're not. So I'll probably basically like never even use that. Dump all those points into dexterity. Basically want to open this door just so I can have it as a reminder that this is where the way down is. Okay, good. It didn't take me that long to refine this. There's only three books. There's not that many different combinations of proper order to read them in. I think this particular quest might have been completely added through the mod. I don't know if it makes use of anything that was originally in the game, you know? Like, a lot of these new quests, like that one in Farnham's house with the worms, is from like data mining of of the game files to, to pull up the the characters sprites the dialogue all the stuff necessary for that maybe this had to have been in the original game because they have the voice acting for for the rogue still there there i got it now i just need to know where to go ah yes the arcane tomb and oh i thought that was a waypoint that must be the portal that takes me to the next area this is totally new i don't know what's going on here Whence you knew you know shit serious when they use whence. So this has to have been in the original game because it makes use of like the actual voice actress. So I have no idea. This feels like the weird space realm in Diablo 2. Oh my god, there's gonna be traps and portals and shit. Mmm. I already don't know if I like this area, and supposedly it's really long and difficult, so we'll see how things shape up. I hope I'm at a strong enough level that I don't get just crushed here. So far, I'm fighting things that I would be fighting topside, anyways. So that's a little bit reassuring that I'm not fighting shit that's totally new to me. Oh god. Mana orb? That thing's a pain in the ass. That might be new. Whoa! Badass winged skeletons. I hate how strong those traps are. I was kind of warned that I might want to have fire resistance, and I'm seeing why now. What do I what do I have for fire resistance right now 10% I have way better lightning and cold well if I find anything that adds fire resistance then I'll probably want to prioritize that just while I have to fuck around with all this all of these fiery traps and everything let me go ahead and chuck a portal on the ground here so that I have a convenient way back here when I more than likely inevitably die I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say that's a strong likelihood here I hate these things. They are they are fairly strong, but I'm glad I have the lightning resistance to deal with that. Just generally having resistances here is kind of important for the first time in like any of the games so far. Is this like Soul Heart? Is this like the Night Clan's main domain or something? An an area that's all space and night like? It would kind of make sense. Get out of the way, minions. I'm trying to kill Soul Heart here. When I hear Soul Heart, I just think Binding of Isaac. Hmm, it seemed to have glitched something so that it permanently shows shit that fell on the ground. I hope that's not permanent, because I don't want to be clicking on that while I'm trying to kill things. 
Ah, crap, it is sticking around. Alright, there's some spooky soundscapes going on down here that I don't like very much either. Circle of Ice. Eh, it's another one that I can actually learn. That's the second portal I've found. Let me let me stick some potion straight on my belt here and test out where this portal will actually take me. It's just gonna teleport me straight across to there, right? I think even the the space area of Diablo 2 had portals like this too that you would navigate around. It'll just take me right to there, right? Yeah. This is uh this feels like a lot of ideas that just carried through to Diablo 2. That seems to be the case with like anything that didn't make the cut of the first game, which makes sense. They were good ideas. They just didn't have time to fully implement it. Alright, well I thought maybe it was gonna take me to like a mini boss battle or something, but it's just uh, a way of making navigating this area just a teensy bit more confusing. Make me a little more likely to get lost down here, perhaps? That's great. Jesus Christ, that shit's gonna ruin me. Fucking minion guys lust the grim. Ew. I don't like the idea of these weird naked creepers being lustful. You can see on the map here that I'm kind of backtracking a little bit by going this way. But I, I kind of got to make sure I explore every corner because I don't know exactly what it is I'm working towards with this quest. It's all new to me. Magical Cauldron. While the spirit is vigilant, the body thrives. When hit mana shield, when hit loss mana instead of life increases physical resistance. Oh. So it, it's, yeah, it's just regular mana shield. It'll hurt my mana instead of my health. Good thing I don't use mana for anything, but also that kind of like sucks if I end up needing mana for anything. Basically means for the next half hour I'm just never going to have mana. Oh, come on. You got stuck for a fraction of a second on that and just got ruined. I don't want to have to run all the way back to that town portal because now I can't cast one where I want to have one because I don't have any mana. Stupid. I just run past that shit. Do not do not linger at all. God, there's so much wailing on me here and I kind of just fat fingered my healing so I just used like three potions at once. Very panicked potion use there. Far out. There was way too much stuff in there that was all casting spells rather than just regular attacks. That was just wasting me. Couldn't get over there in time. Creepy Cauldron. Strength is bolstered by heavenly faith. Temporarily increased strength by how much? Probably by a decent amount, I think. It's all the way up to 67. Uh, decent amount of damage added. Too bad I have, like, nothing to heal with. And I'm going to have to flee to town in, like, a second anyways. I need mana badly, don't I? I really got to get the fuck out of here. Teleport back, teleport back, activate the portal, activate the portal, go back, get out of there, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Mm. Okay, good, I had one mana potion on me, just one mana potion. I'm using that to chuck down a portal. I need potions badly. Armor, dexterity, that one adds strength. The lightning resistance is useful right now. Mm, I probably want the additional strength for the added damage, I would say. Short battle bow. I'll be able to start getting those pretty soon. Unfortunately, the one Griswold's selling right now isn't worthwhile. What do some of the characters have to say about this sanctum? I think he doesn't appear until Diablo 3, but he's in Diablo 2. That runs alongside Cain. Watch your life and your soul very carefully, my friend. 
Hmm. So just a warning that this is going to be oh, tough as shit. Thank you. Thank you for that. I wonder if someone who knows less about, like, the lore of hell will have something interesting to say. I love the way he said poorly. No, he literally just said go talk to Kane because I don't know a shit about this. That's kind of what I expected. I went into it saying, like, will Griswold have anything to contribute to this conversation? Oh, am I gonna have to fight this guy down there? If he's, like, corrupt by demons or something? That might be the case. I should probably chime in with Farnham, though. He always has something important to say about everything. <laughs> he seemed like he was getting pushed down, like, had the slow-mo effect put on him there. I'm gonna lose my strength bonus. Let's see how much it added. I'm going to drop off from 67. My guess is it added like 10? 14. It added 14. Damn, that's pretty good. Does this not cost mana? Yes, it does. Oh, I see. Alt shows things. Control makes it stay on. Well, I'm going to go back to using Alt then now that I figured that out. Oh, freaking hell. What the? <laughs> All these Night Lords lined up. Oh, fuck. Fuck me, standing right on a fire trap. Good start, good start to your return return to Horizon Sanctum. I'm gonna shoot them from way the hell back here, hopefully knock out a few of them, set my making my way back across that side of the the foray here isn't quite so intimidating. Oh fucking immediately lightning posts though just wrecking me. I really wish I could just turn off mana mana shield because that's not good for me at all. Oh, to the pit. What in the fuck? What is going to be down there? So not only is there the new area of Horizon's Sanctum or whatever you would call this place, it's, it's oddly not labeled. The way that like other levels and stuff are in this game. Uh, but now there's somewhere even further to branch off from there. I could quit this quit this stun locking bullshit oh good pretty sure that just uh, revives renews my mana which is really what I need right now is to top up my mana just so we can get blasted away again chainmail oh dope that's a really satisfying thud when it gets chucked on the ground I'll have to I'll have to show it off in a second here when I'm done killing everything sorry night clan I have something I'd like to show and the cloak yeah, just a little, but then the the chainmail thing, it actually sounds heavy, sounds like it's a badass piece of armor. What kind of strength does this require to use? 30? Oh, I have enough. Okay. Oh, it's his journal. This just renews mana. Oh, no, what does it do? Temporarily changed statistics. What? Oh, shit, my strength. My dexterity's way up, but my strength took a big hit. It seems that I may have brought something into this plane that even I cannot control. The creature that fell into my astral trap is a very deadly What the demon. hell did you do, man? What did you bring? At the bottom of a pit that it kills everything that I've sent there and attempts to defeat it. <laughs> is he sending, like, other demons down? the tunnels that lead to my protected haven, I am tempted to use the switch to open the tunnels to see if it will just leave. But I fear it is smarter than most of the lesser demons I have trapped before. If I could just lure it somewhere else. I don't, I don't want to go down and fight the thing that a bunch of other demons have failed to kill. That sounds terrifying. I was warned that there's a correct order to do these little warm-up fights in. I don't want to waste a bunch of time by doing them wrong in the wrong order. I'm going to go look up what the correct order is. It sounds like the pit is the final of three battles that I take part in. So that's that's your teaser that we're leading up to that. I need to backtrack a little bit to take care of the, the opening battles. Not feeling quite up to it. Oh god, having to cross two, two flame traps in a row, that's a good way to get your ass destroyed. Talk a lot about stomping ass, beating ass, 
kicking ass, killing ass, destroying ass, smashing ass. <laughs> it just seems to come up a lot when I'm talking about fighting things in Diablo. One, I use it to talk about how I just get wrecked when I'm fighting things that are super strong. And I like to use it uh, when I go on a hot streak of killing things. But it's not super, super often that I go on the hot streak of killing things. So it's almost like I use it more of a confidence booster. Like I'm trying to talk myself up and be like, yeah, you got this, man. You're going to smash that, <laughs> that demon's ass. Whether or not I actually perform better after hyping myself up like that, results have varied. It's uh, indeterminate. Did I go the wrong way right from like when I first entered this sanctum? I have to backtrack a long ways here. And I'm officially back where I started. So let's see, what what could I have done here? All right, what, first off, what is this first portal that I encounter right off the get-go? Where is that going to take me? Nothing. All right, my guess is that that's a portal that takes me, is meant to take me back to the entrance after I complete this quest to save me from having to walk all the way back like I just did. At least I hope that it's that's what it's there for, because it's, it's honestly a bitch to walk that far. My stat swap thing is about to wear off, but it's kind of funny the way that the stat swap worked out is that I it kind of didn't have a huge effect on my damage or anything. It's not like I switched dexterity for, for mana or magic or something like that. I kind of just swapped strength and dexterity, and both of them contribute to my damage. So switching from one to the other isn't a huge difference maker. I'm attacking from way across the way, are you? I wouldn't mind getting a few quick, easy kills in from a distance. When I eventually make my way there, things will be a tiny bit easier on me. Fuck that, I'm not teleporting over to there. If I was like the warrior or something, I would just get destroyed. I was going to say get my ass pounded or something, but I've been saying so much of that lately that I've tried to think of other ways to explain how truly, well and truly fucked I would probably be. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, okay, I accidentally activated a scroll and I chucked it down. Good, I chucked down a firewall on the things that are immune to fire. That's just, that's great. That's going to do so much. Might as well just cast, like, waterfall or rushing current or bubble or hydro pump or something. on some kind of fish. Not going to do a whole lot. I don't know what Bloodlust does. The more he attacks, the more damage he does or something like that, because this guy does a fuckload of damage. Yeah, just stand there. Just stand there and take it. That's what I like to see. Ooh, big money drop. Eyeball the Shade, or whatever his name was, was rolling in dough. Now and again, the weird, creepy sounds in this area just reach this crescendo of, like, a thousand howling, ghoulish, ghostly voices, and it's just a little bit, just a little bit terrifying. I don't, I don't like it very much. Ooh, a ring dropped off in the distance. Just a regular magical ring, though. And I think I'm sporting a couple of unique rings right now, so it's a pretty fat chance that it's actually going to replace what I already have. Man, I need a belt with more slots. The amount of times I have to run back to town for potions is getting out of hand. Experience cauldron. That'll be good, right? Adonational experience gained. Oh, right-click to cancel. I'll oh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that was an option this whole time, and I totally just chose to ignore that line of, of dialogue or whatever. That's very helpful. I didn't think this game would catch, cut you that kind of slack. Alright, I'm down to like my last potion or two. Just about time to make another town run here. This sanctum is enormous. Of all the art and everything was in place, I guess it was just a matter of polishing such a massively large quest on, on, like a, on a timeline, you know? Things come down to a little bit of a time crunch. You're just trying to get your game out there. Book of Elemental. Cannot read it. Maybe I can make it to that Fountain of Tears so I can get my mana up enough that I can chuck down a town portal here and get myself out of here. That was sweet. Double decapitation. Taking out two things that were nowhere near me. Oh, it's a stupid statistic change thing, change thing again. I don't want that. I totally forgot that that's what it did. No, oh, no, no. Don't teleport over there just yet. I can just hear things dying in the distance. I cannot see what is actually going on over that way. Oh, two potions left. I thought I was on my very last potion. I don't have to be careful at all. Creature of Flame. I think that's how I summoned the first 
of these two things that I have to fight before I make my way down towards the pit. Oh, two mana structure, two two of these mana orbs. I hate them so much. Get out of the way, hidden one. Don't go defending a stupid statue. You're better than that. You don't have to give up your life for a statue. Think better of yourself. Can one of you, for the love of God, please drop mana or a scroll of town portal or something I can use to get out of here? I don't care. I'll read a book to recover mana if that's what it takes. What the- who the fuck is that? Chulabu the Canarthalu? Snebius the charlatan? <laughs> I don't know who the fuck this is. God, he looks like Zara the Mad, though. There, I'm still calling him Zara. I still chuck an A on the end there. Fucking guy chucks poison down everywhere, has lightning spells, shoots fucking fire rings everywhere. Fighting this guy is the worst. There, there goes my last potion. I just have to hope I kill him before he kills me. Commit. Commit. Fucky fuck pants. You can do it. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Fuck. Oh, yes, I leveled up. Oh, good. Perfect. Thank God. <sighs> that was really nerve wracking. Then by binding the spirit oh, to the knowledge. rock, it is given life. This sounds like a spell of some kind. Arcane knowledge gained. What did I just do? What did I just learn? Golem spell? What in the shit? How much mana does it take? <laughs> Whoa. I learned other things as I leveled up other than trap disarm. Uh, multiple shot rogue fires multiple arrows at the cost of reduced power. Number of arrows minus damage. Oh, it does cost. It does cost mana, though. And piercing shots, timed beneficial effect. Rogue draws both with extra strength, which can make some arrows pass through enemies. Pierce chance 38%. Cool down 120 seconds. 10% by mana. Hmm. That is relatively useful. What the hell is it going to take for me to be able to cast Golem, though? That seems dope. I want a Golem helper to run around with me. Stone Curse. Can I learn that? Probably not, hey? Everything into Dexterity, as I've been told to do. Although I probably should put something into mana if I want to learn how to use Golem. Maybe I better find out how much mana it actually takes to cast before I go sinking a bunch of, uh, bunch of attribute points into it if I'm never going to be able to fucking learn how to do it anyways. Resist all is pretty good. Can't compete with Arcane's Valor. Extra magic items is always fun. Can't compete with Arcane's Valor. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again soon.